I always feel like I'm on the precipice of the pinker conversation of, do you know that so many people have been pulled out of poverty and, <laughs> and things are so great now? Oh, really? I must be imagining all this terrible misery that I'm seeing everywhere. All of this despair and nihilism and desperation. I must be imagining it. I must be imagining a spiritual void at the very core of our culture because I've just seen now that you've told me that it's never been as good. I know, like, you know, I respect yeah. uh, Professor Jordan no, Peterson. Yeah. Uh, throughout history, people are like, it's been on but for me, that's apology. That's not bold enough. People, this is it. The old idea is dead. The new ideas must emerge. It's going to require new alliances. It's going to require new conversations. If we are unwilling to have them, we are going to experience new forms of authoritarianism and centralization. <laughs>「says, you know, they promised us flying cars and we got 140 characters. You know, in essence, we've sort of stopped innovating now and we're just doom scrolling all day long. Remember, remember back in our day when the internet stopped? You'd go to a page and it would stop at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Remember that? And then they got rid of that. So you just scroll forever and it never stops. And you're mm. looking for more, more craziness. Yes, it's nihilistic. I kind of sense that you're you're more libertarian than anything else, even though people are always like, he's a, le people on the right are always like, he's a lefty, but I like him. Something like that. Um, right? that. That's, that's what they do with I'm Bill the lefty you kind of like. Yeah. <laughs> that's, there could be a movie in that. <laughs> There's something in that. But, but I sense you're mostly, like you're, you're talking about decentralization, you're talking about local communities, you're, you're talking about taking power away and that kind of stuff. Like you're mostly just live and let live. I mean, the, the show is stay free, right? Like, yes. I suppose when people talk about libertarianism, sometimes there's the sort of, is there the suggestion that we uh, do not have a duty and obligation to love and care for one another? My, I suppose I don't feel that that needs to be mandated <laughs> by a, at the end of a gun. Right. That, that people can love one another consensually and that we can organise in various different publics. We can have the maximum amount of democracy, that we can honour the highest aspects of our nature, that Broadly speaking, I would respond sympathetically to a person suffering if I could see them. What I'm beginning to feel is that we have become uh, disjointed, that we have, uh, there's been an aberration from the conditions of our or origin. There's nothing in our evolution that suggests that we would be able to live in societies of 300 million people, let alone 7 billion people, whilst that is part of the reality, that right. we're on a rock in infinite space. We are also in communities, and I like that phrase that I think I I heard from Helena Norberg Hodge, uh, act local, think global. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so like we can have as much democracy in our community as possible, that we allow people to organize their communities however they want to, unless it has a negative impact on another community or the individuals within that community are not happy with it. And that we have to accept that there are many different ways of being human, traditional ways, new and emergent ways, new roles, new identities, allow people to be who they are, allow people to have as much democracy in their schools, as much democracy in their, uh, in their, even law and order or be demo democratic. In my country, for example, I heard like I, I respect very much people that work in services because I uh, understand the value of sacrifice and I have friends that are work in the police force, thank God. And like I, I feel uh, that wouldn't it be good if the forces of, uh, you know, even law enforcement is a phrase that's got some, that, you know, as a true uh, anarchist libertarian that I have some issues with because who do you mandate to, <laughs> you know, because the relationship between sovereignty and the governed has traditionally been you give us taxes, <laughs> we won't get, you won't let you get killed by bandits right. or whatever. But me <laughs> That would be the basics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know those bandits, they could get you yeah. any time. Yeah, give us yeah. some of your money and we'll protect you. From it. But what I feel, Dave, is that uh, it would be nice if there were consensual policing, consensual governance, you live in the area, like it's a sort of localism. Like this phrase, there are supposed, do you have like particular phrases and ideas that have sort of stayed in the sphere of your awareness for a long while and they start to become part of your personal philosophy? In my case, when Gandhi said at uh, the point of Indian independence, this is a country of 70,000 villages, each one should be fully independent, trading only where necessary, running and governing themselves. There's no point in us kicking out the British, then replicating the very institutions that mm -hmm, they installed. Mm -hmm. And it seems that we are doing this now globally, sets of institutionalized power, whether they're corporate or state, that don't allow ordinary people to have very much freedom. It's interesting, because you're, you're basically, I think, selling me from an American perspective, you're selling federalism. I mean, the idea that the states should basically do everything locally and that 
we should have some structure above that, but it should probably be way weaker than this crazy structure that nobody believes in now. That is completely ineffective and probably very authoritarian. Oh, if that's the way that you term it, then yeah. certainly. So I, federalism, I, I, the idea that the states, basically, I'm as a Floridian, everything that goes on with my life should have to do with Florida and the laws of Florida. The US government, the federal government, should have basically yeah. nothing to do with me except guard the borders and you know a couple of, make sure the states aren't at war, a couple of other things like that. Yeah, leave everyone alone, yeah. I suppose you're... It'd be right. nice for you guys to have that in the UK, huh? What about, I suppose, look, the point of the state is obviously supposed to be in order to prevent external attack, military, I mean, or gargantuan corporatism, you, one needs a state that can support the collective will of the people that elected them. Now, given that the, for some time, and this would include both, uh, in my view, both administrations, both political parties, that are so damn near to equal that to quarrel about which one is superior would be, I would consider, literally a waste of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Even now after COVID, because that, because I would agree with you for for most, of, I think we're roughly the same age for most of our lives, yeah, but I think something shifted in COVID where it's very, very clear, like, the Republicans ain't, better. they ain't great, but like they're much That's less the locked the Democrats you make, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't great, but you get this health care. <laughs> oh, yeah, we ain't great, but we were bearing COVID. Right. Look, we ain't great. Fuck off. Fuck off then. Yeah. Let's but go we for stayed, great. We stayed open here. It's, it's why I moved here, right? Like that's, that's something. That's something. Sure. Thanks for something. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You know, like that's, uh, that, that's yeah. I can't get hard for that conversation. Yeah. For like, oh, is it a bit better? Right. And that really was I'm the out. point with when you were doing the Fox News MSNBC. Yeah. That was the That's same. The, that is the point. That was the same point. Yeah. yeah. It's like, let's do better. Because like, also, like, you know, if I always feel like I'm on the precipice of the pinker conversation of, do you know that so many people have been pulled out of poverty <laughs> and, and, and things are so great now? Oh, really? I must be imagining all this terrible misery that I'm seeing everywhere. All of this despair and nihilism and desperation. I must be imagining it. I must be imagining a spiritual void at the very core of our culture because I've just seen now that you've told me that it's never been as good. I know, like, you know, I respect yeah. uh, Professor Jordan no, Peterson. It. Yeah. Uh, throughout history, people are like, it's been you know, like, But for me, that's apology. That's not bold enough. People, this is it. The old idea is dead. The new ideas must emerge. It's going to require new alliances. It's going to require new conversations. If we are unwilling to have them, we are going to experience new forms of authoritarianism and centralization. It's already happening. Both political parties have been co-opted by the same corporate forces. They will behave in the same way. Now, I know that you, in my understanding is that you have, um, you know, like that you, uh, Ron DeSantis, that you're like down with Ron DeSantis. And I don't know very much about him, except I feel like I read like about that uh, and like giving good deal in the lever the other day, giving good deals to the energy folks and subsidizing things. You know, like I don't feel like anybody that's operating within that system is capable of genuinely representing the will of the people. And I'm not saying like, that Ron DeSantis is particularly bad, but no, and I know he's super popular here. I know right. people love him. And I, I would say he's particularly good here. I he, know. He's an aberration, but I get your, your broader point is that if you're still operating within the system that has existed. The system itself. That, that it's you actually can't irrelevant. Get, right. So, the, so yeah. I fully accept that. Look, yeah. And also, I don't think... I don't think any politicians, whether it's DeSantis or if you brought back George Washington, I, I don't think they're gods. They're just people, right? Right, so, yeah. So yeah. he's operating within a system. Yeah. I would say he's, he's the best that we can get out of this system. If you're looking for more uncensored opinions from today's thought leaders, check out our media playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a wide variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.